I'm Tiki Barber here with Sean Thomas, who is a clinical director down in Georgetown. Now we have something in common, athletically. You've run a lot of marathons. Yes, I've done 15 and you're about to do number seven That's right. in Berlin. Let's talk about marathoning. How do you get your mind ready to train for a marathon and how long does it take? So Tiki, you already know, marathons are insane. Most programs will say 12 weeks, 16 weeks, 20 weeks. If you're a novice runner or a newbie, 20 weeks. A lot of it's just putting in daily routines. So getting your runs during the week, make sure you're getting your sleep in, your hydration in. Most programs will get you through at least what to do every single day, but the mental strain is the hardest thing, I think. You're right about the mental strain. And a lot of that is I gotta get up early or run late yep. just to get the hour run in or the two hour runs, or when you get later in your training, a three plus hour run yeah. in. How do you stay healthy with all of that pounding on your body? Find a track, find some softer surfaces. It's those kind of things, especially as a PT, I think about because the pounding is a lot, right? And if you're not trying to make sure your body is taken care of, you will have injuries. You will have to come see me at the therapist <laughs> at some point in time. We wanna avoid that and get through your program, get through your training. So like you know from football, rest, ice, compression, yeah. elevation, those things, so you can be ready for your next workout. Tell me about nutrition. Cause some people think, oh, I just gotta cut what I eat. I think the opposite is actually true. Oh yeah, I burned about 2000 calories yesterday alone on that run, right? During the run you have nutrition, as you know, we're taking in gel, we're taking in water, but during the week, you gotta make sure you're replenishing those calories as well so that you can get ready for your next run. So getting your proteins in, getting your hydration in, making sure you're getting in your sustained meals, ingesting more, because you're putting in more of an output. I know a lot of novice runners will find this. Heck, I'm an experienced runner and I find this. I end up cramping. Mm. What's the best way to prevent those type of physical reactions while training or even in the marathon? Yeah, so at Jack, we talk about a lot of hydration, even up to the race day. Hydrating early, right? You're talking about a race that's happening on Sunday, you wanna hydrate basically that week before. So when you go to the race, that run, you're ready to go. Sean, you've had eight long runs. <laughs> You've done your 20 plus miler. Now it's almost race week. What is that last week leading up to the marathon, that taper week? What does that look like? That's the best week, Tiki, to be honest, because all the training is done. Now you're talking about mental preparation. You're talking about hydration. You're talking about stretching. You're talking about all the things that you've already worked for and getting ready for that day. And a lot of visualization happens around that time too. You gotta be able to see yourself crossing that line. Now that's the hardest part, I think, because you train for so many weeks, right? So you're ready for this thing and you want to go out there and run 26 miles before the race, and that's the absolute wrong thing to do. <laughs> trust the process, trust the training, and let that week be a week of preparation, mentally, physically, emotionally, all those things. So the week after a race, you finished, you got your medal, you've displayed it proudly, you've posted them all on Instagram. Yes, sir. What's the post-race week like? It's yeah. not just chilling, sitting on your couch. No, it cannot be that. And to be honest, when you go home and you feel like you want to just sit on the couch, the best thing to do is to get up. Get up there and, and do some gentle walking, uh, some gentle stretching, hop on a bike, do your rest and recovery, your ice, whatever else, your foam roll, all those things. Your body goes through trauma and it needs to relax and recover after that trauma to get ready for your next race. It is a very small group of people that have done a marathon. Someone's thinking about this. Yeah. What advice do you give them? Before you go out there and sign up for all of the NYC and the Berlins, see a PT, see athletic trainer, make sure that your body is good. If you have underlying issues or health issues, you know, see your MD. Get checked out. Make sure that your skeletal system is intact. Any issues you may have in terms of previous injuries, make sure those are all good to go. And then after that, sign up for all the races. Well, my friend, good luck in Berlin. Yes, sir. I'll see you on the road. Yes, sir.